Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Adobe Audition to edit sound for video. In this quick tutorial, we're going to look at how we can animate our levels and our pan of individual tracks up and down uh, over a video's course. Um, so we're going to look at some more kind of dynamic ways of changing the volume of a track during the course of a video. So first of all, uh, this is where we were at the end of last tutorial. We had our, our video track up here, our video reference, and we'd thrown on some music and a few different sound effects. Now, at the moment, I've set the volume levels to zero decibels on all of them, so they're kind of as they were, as they were imported in with the master levels. And when we play them, it's going to sound awful. So uh, it's going to be very loud, and I apologize. Uh, So we can see there that we could hear the music, uh, but what we couldn't hear was the uh, zombies' yells and calls. Uh, so what we want to do with this now is we want to be able to uh, set, uh, master our levels of the different tracks. So uh, the first thing we're going to do um, is we could change the volume of each track using the volume icon over here. So this is our levels icon for each track where it's got this little uh, raising line. Uh, icon next to this wheel with plus zero. The plus zero means decibels. So I could just edit the volume of the track down. So if I've got track three over here, I could just bring the volume down by 30 decibels by clicking and holding that. And it makes it much quieter. But what happens if we want to change the volume um, dynamically of a track over the course of the video. We won't want the music to start out quite loud um, and then drop down for bits of dialogue. Or uh, we might want music to build slowly over the course of a scene uh, and raise the levels um, as the scene progresses. Well, we can do that quite easily um, using Adobe Audition's uh, touch options. So uh, we can highlight each track. Uh, so we'll do the music one down the bottom here. And if we click where it says read, we can change it to touch. And what this means is that I can change the volume of the track as the video is playing, and Adobe will remember how I've changed it over time and will be able to recreate that. So for example, if I drag my slider over here, say I was to start the volume on uh, minus 13, it's still gonna be quite loud. And as the video plays, I'm gonna bring the volume down to minus 40. So I'm gonna, I've got it set to touch, I'm going to hit the space bar, it's going to play, it's going to be loud, and then watch how I change it. So it's just drag in on the and then when I release, it slowly brings it back up. So I hit space bar now and it stops. Now when I replay that scene, you should see that Adobe Audition will remember uh, those changes that I've just made to the levels over time. So it should recreate them. So I'm just going to hit spacebar and I'm not going to do anything else now. It's bringing the volume down on its own. And then this is when I release it in a second. So there we go. So we've used the touch icon to effectively animate the levels of that track. So to change the levels dynamically over time, Adobe's remembered what I did in that first playthrough where I was dragging this, where it says that I was dragging the volume down and up over time. Uh, and Adobe's now remembered it. So effectively, it's what we'd call animating in, uh, in video terms, but uh, it's effectively envelopes, they call it. Uh, so I could do that track by track in this view here, or um, if I wanted another way to do it, I could open the window and go to the mixer view. Now, mixer view here is exactly the same as uh, a normal uh, sound mixer. So we've got the levels down here as a, almost a fader that we can control. Uh, so if I go in now and I set all of these to touch, and now go into my mixer view, uh, let's drag the slider along a little bit further back. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, track number three is my music. Uh, so track number one, two, three, here we go. So I'm going to click to select the track, and if you hit spacebar, it will start playing. Now I can click and hold on the fader over here. Bring it up. I'll bring it down as I want. And when 
to release it. It's going to return it to where it was before. Again, I can hold it down and then release. And then if I hit spacebar again, it will remember those changes. So now if I replay that scene, so I'm just going to return the slide. And now I can do it with the, the screens. So I'm bring the screens up. And if I rewind again, you should be able to see now. All of those levels move in themselves. You can see the move around. You can see them moving the faders as I did before. A very simple way then to use the mixer window as long as all your tracks are set to touch it will uh, allow you to edit over time uh, latch will do much the same only the difference with latch is it won't drop your uh, fader back to its starting point when you release uh, the mouse um, we can also use exactly the same process for panning from left speaker to right speaker so uh, at the moment if i hit play track one uh, i'm going to mute the bottom track music if I hit play we concentrate on track one we see it comes through the left and the right channels well what if I wanted that zombie to come through the right channel here as he's on the right side of the frame uh, I could just click and drag over my fader option over here so you see uh, see how it's got L and R so zero is uh, stereo so it's coming through both or I can drag it to the right and make the sound come out the right speaker or to the left and come out the left speaker. So for this one, I'm going to want it to come out the right speaker. So I'm going to drag that over. And that's just coming now out of my right headphone. Or I can drag it over and make it come out the left headphone. So, once again, we could do exactly the same. We could uh, do it over time. So, if I hit play, because I've got it set to touch. So, now if we replay that, we'll see it goes from left to right. So, that's how we can use. Uh, envelopes or essentially animating our levels and our pan uh, and that's how we can use the mixer window uh, to have a more conventional sound desk view of our, our levels use some dynamic kind of faders here so uh, best of luck and i can't wait to hear your sound designs <laughs>